This is the Gateway Packaging Podcast, brought to you by Tenso Strapping. This podcast shares what's happening inside our business, as well as the latest from the world of packaging solutions. Welcome back, everyone, to another podcast. Uh, very excited for today's chat. We are going to introduce a, uh, a brand new tool to the uh, the Gateway range. And uh, to tell us all about it, we have uh, Craig, our sales director. Welcome, Craig. Thank you, Anthony, and thank you to those listening in. Uh, welcome back. Good to uh, spend a Monday morning talking about some new new uh, things we've got on the horizon, some new tooling, some new some products. New equipment. Uh, which is great. It's looking good. Yeah, just um, want to introduce the new battery, Tenso battery strapping tool, which um, we've introduced to our, our range. It's a black in colour, bit of a bit of a beast. And looks good. It looks it looks like a beast of a tool. Yeah, it certainly is. Um, and we're having some great, great, um, great results out there in the market marketplace. So yep. It's yep. it's off uh, to a good start. Off to a very very good start. Yeah. Beautiful. For just before we do launch into it, uh, for anybody who is listening in, um, with uh, the strapping tool that we're talking about, what kind of applications is a, is a strapping tool used on for for someone that might not know? So this uh, strapping tool is for the PET strapping. So okay. for anyone that doesn't know, the PET, a green, could be black, but PET, it's 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 made from recycled products. So, yeah. Um, your recycled, uh, pr- pretty much like your Coke bottles, uh, any yeah, sort cool. of plastic bottle. Um, it's all basically chipped down, yep. re, re um, granulised, and yep. then run back through the uh, process and turned Fantastic. back into strapping. So, Excellent. Um, yeah, so that's what this tool's used for. Fantastic, yeah. awesome. So uh, the uh, the new Tenso tool that we uh, we have here in front of us. Um, yeah, what can you tell us? So this tool here has um, it's a fully automatic tool with with also a manual function on it. So okay, um, it runs just the the simple eighteen volt Bosch battery, which is. Uh, which is very universal. Um, yep. A lot of these other tools out there on the market have their own unique battery, okay. um, which are rather costly for uh, for for replacement. Yeah, true. Um, you know, batteries do wear out eventually. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, just a simple Bosch battery, 18 volt, um, has your battery indicator on the back here. Oh, um, nice. Yeah, so that that's that's one of its selling benefits. Um, good quality, it's just the a good quality and standardised battery. Mm. Um, so as I was saying, has the uh, has the two two functions. Um, has your auto mode, which would, which means that um, it's a one push of the button, which will do the whole strapping cycle. So okay. it has a has a tension setting and a weld time setting on a scale of one to nine. Okay. Um, depending on your, your thickness of strap, depending on what sort of pack you're strapping, mm-hmm. um, you can dial up the tension and the friction weld times to to suit. And once you've got that where you want it on the yep. scale of one to nine, you can set it on an auto mode, and then a one push of the button will do that job. Perfect. Um, with the uh, in the manual mode. <clears throat> It's a button one to tension up to your desired tension, yep. and then button two to uh, seal the product okay. to, to yep. seal the weld. So, sure. you know, some in some applications, a, um, if you're strapping a pack of timber, for instance, mm-hmm. like on a finished product, yep. you might want to put the strap around and then use the tool to bring the uh, to just to tension it up to so, to near to tight. Yep. Um, and then you can put in your little strapping angles and that in under the strap and then oh, nice. another touch of the button to strap it up tight. Yep. And then number two is uh is the weld. Is the weld. So yeah, perfect. Um and that final finishes the whole cycle. So welds it, cuts it and then as you release the handle off the strap mm-hmm. it um it's Job Ready done. Go. Yeah, mm. perfect. So I suppose the, um, the the main benefits with this new model is the fact that it, it does have these different modes, the auto, the manual, and the soft mode. Um, just gives you more variety, more versatility, I suppose, when you are when you are strapping things. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, perfect. Um, the uh, the the next thing that um, we should probably talk about is you know what types of industries or business this uh, this new tool is best suited for. Yeah, it's there's many industries it is suited for. Yeah, um, it's a, it's quite a lightweight tool. Okay, so um, it's very universal. It can be yep. used in just, even in down to just your normal packing in a warehouse if you're strapping up you know boxes to pallets. Okay. Um, or you know if you packs of timber or packs of pipe or steel or mm-hmm. and then 
you know, moving up up the chain into like the um, truss and frame industry. So you've got your, your wall frames, your roof trusses. It's got enough power to pull them up tight, um, even into your sawmills. So, and, you know, finished product coming off the sawmill line, you can uh, use that tool to strap it. Yep. Um, even in the scaffolding industry, if you're strapping up packs of scaffolding out on job sites or, or in the yard, um, there's really a whole host of, of, in, of areas or industries that can be used mm, in because yeah. it's so universal. Yep. Um, and being that it is a 16 and a 19 mil uh, strapping tool, so it can okay. take a 16 mil wide and yep. it can take the 19 mil wide strap. Perfect. Um, Good to know. There's some out there that you know will only do up yeah, to 16 right. mil, and that's one thing we need to we like to educate everyone is yes. that um, you know don't get caught buying a tool which you think yeah is a, it's going to do everything yeah that that is, you know mm. then later down the track you might want to move to a 19 mil strap with a bit higher brake strain because you you know your pack configuration changes. True. Um, bear that in mind when yes. it comes time to when you're looking at a tool that hey. Um, the tool that you do buy, make sure it has got the capability of, you know, stepping up. Yes. You, know, you always want to have that option to step up in, you know, strap width and... Be able and, to grow with your business. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, perfect. Fantastic. Um, is there anything else we need to mention about the tool? Oh, I don't think so. Um, I guess around the, the, the around what we at Gateway can do. Yep. Um, that's probably we've probably given it. That's a good overview of the tool. But mm-hmm. you know, if you're interested in a tool, yes. um, we're more than happy to come out and do on-site demonstration. Um, we can leave it with you if you you know if there's a you want to run it for a, you know a week or do so. Do a bit of a trial. You know, we'll pop in a dispenser, a roll of strap, yep. and leave it with you for the week. Um, Perfect. And you can give it a, get a real feel for it. Um, yep. You know, if you're already using battery tools and you're looking to upgrade. Um, now would be a perfect time to give us a call and yep. touch base and we can come out and do a site on-site demo yep. and, and, and leave it with you, just you know, touch and feel and, yep. and get to Get know. a real, real try before you buy. Yeah, perfect. The um, one more thing is, you know, for anybody out there who isn't using battery tools at the moment, what sort of tools, you know, might they be using for anyone who's not too familiar with the strapping world? Like, most people would be using a manual tool, wouldn't they? Which, you know, what are the advantages of buying, uh, you know, or making an investment in a battery tool um, if somebody's already using manual tools? Like, what are the what are the benefits for it? If you're not using a battery tool, you definitely yeah. would be using manual tools. Yep. So when I say manual tools, that's like a manual um, tensioning tool, Tensioner, yep. which you feed the strapping in and tension it up on like a ratchet handle. Yep. You then need a buckle or a seal Yes. To seal over the two straps, and you have a tension, a, a sealing tool to, to yep. seal it. So you've you've got a you've got a tensioning tool, mm-hmm. you've got a sealer, mm-hmm. and you've got the seal. So you've got yep. three three um three three, three different products, components, guess, yeah. Um, which you've got to have with you. So you need you know you need your tensioner, you need your yep. sealer, you need your seals, all with you at the pack or yes. at the job. Yes. Um, and then you've got no, there's no um. It's just up to user or, or operator, um, yep. sort of how he wants to tighten it up. So yes. there's no gauge around how tight that's actually being done. Yeah, um, true. Whereas with your battery tool, you've got your set tensions the same every time. Pull it up to the same every mm. time. So yep. Um, so there's obviously there's that. Yep. And then there's just the sheer efficiency. True. Um, going to a battery tool. Yep. It's X amount of time faster. Yes. And also you're just getting that consistent yep. um, consistent tension and yep. consistent weld. So yes. what it actually does is it welds the strap together, yep. which makes a fusion join. Whereas yes. with the seal, you're just relying on basically a friction gravity True. Um, to you know hold that those two pieces of strap together yep. and a little bit of rattle or a little bit of, you know, um, Some potential yeah, operator error too. Operator error, if, yep. or if your crimp is worn, yep. that whole strap could let go just mm, as quick mm. as that. So there's some benefits of of using a battery tool over yep. over the what we call the manual tool system. Fantastic, excellent. Well, as Craig has said, um, for anybody who is interested in in trying out the new Tenso battery strapping tool, uh, it is possible to to arrange a trial, to arrange a demo, and obviously talk to Craig and the team uh, about that. Any questions that you have, um, they're more than happy to answer those. And if you would like some more information, uh, feel free to email the sales team, sales at gatewaypackaging.com.au, or you can call uh, through on. Uh, 
uh, the office number 1-800-003-310. Craig, thanks for your time. Thank you, Anthony. Good to be with you. Thanks for listening to another episode of the Gateway Packaging Podcast. If you'd like more information on today's episode, please head to our website, gatewaypackaging.com.au and don't forget to follow us via our LinkedIn company page. Just search Gateway Packaging.